Hello, hello, welcome to this glorious channel of mine. Here we make chaos and nonsense. Are you an artist? Of course you are. I can tell, I know things about people. Any person who has tried to do any kind of creative thing consistently knows what it's like to hit a wall and suddenly have art block and or writer's block and just not be able to get stuff out of your brain. It can be difficult. It's a constant state of life for me. So when I get artist block, I usually find that I do still have ideas, they're just bad ideas because I have no real inspiration. In that moment, there's nothing that really makes me want to create. And I find that forcing yourself through the bad ideas can help clear that junk out of your brain so you can have room for better ideas. So today I want to go through five different random things that you can watercolor if you are feeling generally uninspired. Yay! Haha! I'm always uninspired because I'm dead inside. The first random thing that you could totally paint is your own face. And I don't mean watercolor on your face, I mean make a watercolor painting of your face. Everyone's got a face and most people have mirrors. And if not, you probably have a camera on this phone that you are most likely watching this video on. Use that! Paint a selfie. You are your most accessible model. And then you can give it to someone who likes your face. Frame it. Hang it in a bathroom. Watch people pee. <laughs> The second random thing you could totally watercolor is scenery. Go find a building or a landscape somewhere. If you live in a city, you could go find a park. If you live in the country, go take a picture of your backyard. Abandoned buildings look really cool. The sky, clouds, greenery, all lend themselves very well to watercolor. Watercolor has a very organic feeling, and so landscapes that have lots of plants tend to be really nice. The possibilities are endless. Paint your crush's house give it to them, and then they'll know that you know where they live. I'm sure they'll love that. Another random thing you could watercolor is some fan art. Fan art is art, and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. You do not have to create an IP from scratch. IP? Intellectual property. Other people make some really cool things. Is there a show that you've been watching nonstop? Paint it. Maybe I could paint Dr. Reed from Criminal Minds. That's what I've been binging on repeat. Is there a YouTuber that you're into? Paint them! Do you like anime? Let's paint a sexy anime boy. Who's a good sexy anime boy? <gasps> Joe Cat. I really like Joe Cat. He's like my favorite human on the internet right now. He makes animations and does D&D stuff, and he's a sexy cat boy. I fangirl for him with my entire soul. Go subscribe to Joe Cat. <laughs> Speaking of cats, another random thing that you can paint are animals or your pets. Pets don't always make the best models because they're very wiggly, so you can cheat and just take a picture of them. And then paint that. Give it to them as a gift. They won't understand, but it'll make you feel good. And last but not least, probably my favorite thing to paint in watercolor are plants. Most likely you live on Earth, so you have access to some plant somewhere in your general vicinity. Take a real close picture, it makes for a very good subject. Do some botanical illustration. I love botanical illustration so much. I don't do it nearly enough, but I like looking at it. Drawings and paintings of plants at different stages of development can just be freaking gorgeous. Speaking of which, my garden has been exploding, so we're gonna do a mini garden update. So if you don't have access to the wide variety of plants that I do, you can feel free to pause and screen cap any frame in this video and use it for painting. I don't care. Let's go take some pretty aesthetic shots of my garden.
today you get 1,000 awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video. I'm very proud of you. Good job. It's really all I've got for you today. I just wanted to give you some stuff to paint and show off my garden. My username across the internet is Echo is Weird on all platforms except for TikTok because someone took my username. So there it's Echo Gillette. Thank you to all of my patrons. You're actually like a really big help. I don't know if I could do this without you guys. During COVID my channel hit a really bad plateau and the only thing that is consistent in life right now is Patreon. So thank you to my patrons. I don't know if I could do this without you. If you're over 18, I do upload NSFW to OnlyFans also sometimes. Let's build an art community on there, if that's what you're into. But I think that's everything for now, so I'm gonna take off. Feel free to use, like, anything in this video for painting if you want. The entire point of this video is to just push you to do something creative, so hopefully I've achieved that. But I think that's everything for now, so I'm gonna go cross-pollinate some plants, and hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. Hey there, hey there. Hey you, hey there.